artisan cutlery model proponent. Some of the main characteristics of this big pocket tank looking knife. Overall open length, we have 8.85 inches, 22.5 centimeters. Closed length, it's 5 inches, 12.7 centimeters. Blade thickness, 0.18 inches, 4.8 millimeters. Blade style war clip. And we've got an S35VN blade designed by Dirk Pinkerton. And this knife is made in China. And from my videos, you know that I in past videos always made fun of Chinese low quality knives. And, you know, we associate made in China with something low quality. But lo and behold, wow, I, I, I was amazed with this knife. I was amazed because... I did not know this knife was made in China. I mean, this it runs on a high quality bearings, frame lock. We've got an additional place for additional security and protection so your knife does not close on you. And S35, this big fat blade of S35 VN. And you can also use thumb stud. The easiest, I would say for me, is flipper. But one, one big thing for this knife, it is 10.9 ounces. Yes, I, I, I did say that correct. 10.9 ounces, 310 grams. Wow. That, that, this is a giant. This, this is a pocket tank. This is a beast. And we've got two fat slops of the anodized the blue gold titanium. Wow, quality, I am, I am surprised with the quality. And this knife retailing uh, MSRP, I think is $289 for this knife, but you can find it around 250, uh, 240 and some other deals, I don't know. Uh, this, is, this is as good as it gets. And for this price, if you can't afford Medford Praetorian for, uh, 700 bucks and 750 and you want the big tank looking knife this is not just a cheap alternative this is a really good alternative and um, wow I, if I was an American knife maker if I was Greg Medford and all those guys I will be scared of Chinese producers this is really awesome quality and again, I'll repeat, I've been, I criticize Chinese knife and Chinese made products and anything I can find wrong with it, I'll talk 10 times about it. But I, I mean, wow, this is superb quality. One thing what does not go for me, well, after 10, 15, 20 flips, 25 flips, because we knife guys, we like flipping knives. We like opening, closing, and that's how we play. That's how we make love to our knives. That's how we get used to our knives. And uh, that's just part of joy of owning the knife. So you can just keep flipping it, opening it, closing it. After, after a while, you reach a point you're like, whoa. <laughs> my hand is tired it feels like i've been um weight lifting or bench pressing uh like you do feel the pressure on your muscles and um again i mean uh, if you like big busty giant knives this might be for you and i do like big knives if you look my prior videos cold steel espada excel uh, HTM DDR Daryl Max with seven inch blade and uh, all the Medfords and big knives. I'm all about big knives. I love pocket tanks, but this one somehow is just somehow it feels too heavy. In my jeans, it feels uncomfortable because I feel there is something and something big is in my pants pocket. <laughs> And with your sweatpants or sports athletic pants, yeah, you can't wear it because your pants gonna drop down and people might see something they're not supposed to see. 
otherwise otherwise uh, i i think it's again it's about personal preferences you like if you have no problem with weight and you like pocket tanks you will love this knife i am sure for me the just 10 close to 11 ounce weight just does not work because I can feel it and when I'm when I keep flipping it I do reach a point where I'm like let me take a little break but somehow yeah I, I, I like this knife it looks cool it's beautiful yeah I don't like this proprietary screws but man, overall it's a it's a gorgeous <laughs> knife it's a very well made knife wow not just very well made knife a plus knife the rest the rest like in knife world like in any other world it's about personal preferences some people like mercedes someone likes ferrari and someone's happy with toyota prius prius uh, some guys like fat women some guys like skinny women some guys like anorexic women same thing in the knife world it's all about preferences overall quality a plus uh, for me the weight yeah a little bit issue but i i think it's a more than just a fine knife it's an awesome awesome knife wow a plus